Well, under natural conditions, the forest is underwater in winter and spring uh, nearly every year. In fact, um, it's September, October period where we got the deepest floods. So no, it's got to be much more than winter. The summer autumn flooding that we currently get is because the river is held artificially high for irrigation water. So any rainfall that occurs during that time has nowhere to go within the river, so it goes onto the floodplain and that's where we get the summer flows. You see the news and they always describe flooding, it's always talked about the worst flooding in X number of years. For places like Barma Millewa Forest on the, the Mid-Murray floodplain, uh, it's always the best flooding for so many years. And at the moment we haven't had a big flood since 2016. The amount that we can build on the natural flood level is, is really uh, minuscule compared with the big natural flooding that occurs here. But it's the importance of the bits that we can fill in because sometimes we might only have to keep the river elevated for a short period of time when it would be otherwise dropping because of river regulation. That sees the difference between water birds uh, maintaining their nesting event or, or aborting. Uh, and you only need the river to drop just once during that time and the birds will fly away and you don't get a, a breeding event for that year. Just like any irrigator, we have a legal entitlement of water that's been set aside for the environment and we want to ensure that we use that water for the best biodiversity outcome. Uh, because at the end of the day, we all benefit from a natural functioning wetland ecosystem. Nobody wants waste. Uh, so that's why we have to do a lot of research and monitoring to make sure that what we're achieving is a genuine outcome. Everyone likes to catch a fish. Um, the sediment that's dropped out of the river on the floodplain makes a cleaner river. And the sheer aesthetics, who doesn't like to come here and go camping? Quite often it's the environmental water that's actually mitigating the hypoxic black water that turns the fish kills uh, or is reducing the nutrient levels on the floodplains so that you don't get the blue-green algal blooms which might lead on to fish kills. In this part of a semi-arid landscape, um, a floodplain dries every year and wets up nearly every single year. That's how floodplains form and that's how they operate. And indeed, uh, it's that wetting and drying cycle that generates a lot of food resource back into the river and feeds, you know, ultimately things like Murray Cod. Perversal, it's quite the opposite. Uh, under natural conditions, with rainfall and snow melt in the mountains, this river would have been flooding twice as deep for twice as long to what it's currently doing, even with environmental flows. It's pretty simple. Floodplains flood when the rivers burst their banks, and they burst their banks from rainfall in the upper catchments. Uh, that's how floodplains around the world work. And Barma is absolutely no different. Yeah, well, it's been an interesting one. I've heard the, the, the myth often. Uh, red gums are largely restricted to water courses throughout Australia. So right there and there is your answer, is red gums actually need a high proportion of water. They're incredibly adapted to um, putting on a lot of growth when it's flooding, and then they tend to shut down during the unseasonal period of flooding. But if they don't get flooding for a few years, their health deteriorates. And where we're standing is actually a, a classic example 
where the big large natural floods occur so infrequently now these red gums aren't getting the uh, water that they require. The reason we have regulators and not just some big earthen block bank is because this site still frequently floods by natural flooding and if you had them blocked you would just have a breakout somewhere else on the floodplain. That's how floodplains work. Uh, so the river would just burst another hole somewhere else. Whereas here we're keeping the ability to allow the distributary channels to flood at the right time of year but also keep it out at the wrong time of year. And that's purely being brought about by river regulation.